Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Mr. Allen, and today we are going over roles in the food chain. Today's May 19th, and I wanna go over some terminologies that we've gone over, some terminologies that might be new to you. So I highly recommend you get a pen and paper, write them down. I'm also gonna go into IXL, kind of break down how they ask questions, how to absorb the information, and how to get the correct answer, how to process it to get the correct answer. So uh, without further ado, let us begin. Now, um, a producer. What is a producer? A producer can change matter that is not food into food. So an example of that would be like a mango tree, or apple tree. They change carbon dioxide and sunlight, which is not food, we're unable to eat it, into food, which would be the mango or the apple. So producer produces food. They change non-foods into foods. Producer. Now herbivore, carnivore, and omnivore. I went over these in class. Does anyone remember what a herbivore is? A herbivore. A herbivore is a consumer that eats plants. And to use terminology that we're going to be using here, consumer or animal that eats plants or Producers. Yeah. Herbivore is a consumer animal that eats. Oh well, sorry about that. Producers. Uh, yeah. Consumer. Animals that eat plants or producers. Those are herbivores. What about a carnivore? Can anyone tell me what a carnivore is? A carnivore is a consumer or an animal that eats other consumers or animals. So carnivores are consumers that eat other consumers. I'm going to go over consumers in one bit, as you should be able to see. But carnivore is a consumer that eats other consumers. What about a omnivore? What would a omnivore be? An omnivore is a consumer that eats both plants or producers. producers and Animals or consumers. So an omnivore is a consumer that eats both plants and animals, or it eats both producers and consumers. A carnivore is a consumer that eats other consumers, or a animal that eats other animals. And then a herbivore is a consumer that eats plants or an animal that eats producers. So what would be an example of a herbivore? It'd be like a cow or a human, a vegan. They are consumers, but they only eat plants or producers. A carnivore would be an example of like a wolf or I guess anything, a lion, a consumer animal that eats other animals or consumer that eats consumers. Will be an example of a omnivore, could be a bear, it eats both berries and salmon. Could be a pig, pigs eat uh, fruits, they also eat uh, other animals. Or a human, human that eats both plants and animals. These are omnivores that eat both plants and animals. Now, what is a primary consumer? A primary consumer eats producers. So the word primary tells you that it's the first consumer in a food chain. It always eats the producers. So a primary consumer could be an example of which one of these three? 
a consumer that only eats producers, a herbivore. See, herbivore is a good example of a primary consumer, eats producers, and the word primary tells you it's the first consumer in the food chain. So the food chain always starts with the producer and then the primary consumer, and then we have the secondary consumer. What is the secondary consumer? It eats the primary consumer. So the word secondary tells you that it's the second consumer in the food chain. So we have the producer, the primary consumer, the secondary consumer. Can you guess what's next? It should be the tertiary consumer, the third consumer. Oh, third. So tertiary consumer eats the primary consumer. I'm sorry, should write eats the secondary consumer. I don't know why I have that. Yeah, consumer. The word tertiary tells you that it's third consumer in the food chain. It always eats the secondary consumer. So we went over producer, primary, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer. Let's say this food chain, it has more than just a primary, I'm sorry, more than just a producer, primary, second, and tertiary. Let's say it has nine levels. There are nine levels to it. So we're not gonna go through you know, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All we're gonna say is that whatever the last consumer is on that list, that is your top consumer. It's always at the end of the food chain, opposite of the beginning. So if the producer is here, the top consumer is always at the end of the food chain. So we have producer, primary consumer, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer. So let's say this food chain is only those four, primary, one, two, three. Then we know that the tertiary consumer is the top consumer. Let's say it has six. A primary, one, two, three, four, five, six. The top consumer is gonna be that six consumer. It's always the last one. All right, so I have two more terminologies and then we can get into the IXL. So a predator, what is a predator? A predator consume, I'm sorry, it is a consumer that eats consumers and it can be on any level of the food chain. The predator is just a consumer that eats other consumers. So which one of these would you say a predator would have to be? Would you say it would be a herbivore, a carnivore, or omnivore for a predator? It is a consumer that eats other consumers. It would have to be a carnivore. A predator is basically a carnivore because it's a consumer and it eats other consumers. What about a prey? A prey is a consumer that is eaten by another consumer or ate by another consumer. So the prey is always a consumer, but it's eaten by another consumer. So a producer cannot be a prey because it's not a consumer. It has to be a consumer. And the top consumer can never be a prey because it's at the top of the list in this specific regards. So the top consumer won't be the prey and then the producer, so the first one and the last one won't be a prey. It's always the um, first consumer up to the second to last consumer. Those are your prey in the middle. Okay, so that's a lot to take in. So definitely pause, write these down because we're actually going to go through them right now. So let's read this and let's go through it together. This diagram shows a food chain from, oh man, I'm gonna butcher this. Chesapeake Bay? Ch Chesapeake Bay? Chesapeake Bay. An estuary ecosystem in Maryland and Virginia. So in this food chain, the seagrass is a producer. The seagrass right here is a producer. Why? So we have, it eats a consumer, it makes its own food, or it eats another organism. 
So which one do you believe that is? The seagrass right here? We have seagrass, sea squirt, butterfish, weak fish. Do you believe it eats a consumer? It makes its own food or it eats another organism? So if I were to say it makes its own food, would I be correct? Yes, because producers always make their own food. Start at the left and then top consumers on the right. And then we have producer, first consumer, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer, top, or the tertiary can be the top. It's always the end one. Okay, so it makes its own food. Awesome. This diagram shows a food chain from a grassland ecosystem in Wyoming. So we don't know too much about red fox, deer mouse, katydid, or slender wheatgrass. We don't know too much about that. But we do know it says in this food chain, the red fox is a tertiary consumer. So what do we know about tertiary consumers? Does it eat a secondary consumer? It eats a primary consumer, or it makes its own food? Which one would that be for the tertiary consumer? If you need, you know, definitely go back to your notes and go through. But the tertiary consumer always eats the secondary consumer. So which one of these would be the tertiary consumer? Which one do you think it would be? Well, I'm sorry, it already tells you. The red fox. Which one would be the primary consumer? If I wanted a primary consumer, which one would I choose? If you said the caddy did, you are correct. Caddy did, caddy did. Interesting. But yeah, the to answer this question, why is the red fox a tertiary? Because it eats the secondary consumer. Okay, this one. It says in this food chain, the mayfly is a primary consumer. Why? Again. We don't know too much about all of these uh, animals, but all this axing is primary consumer that it mayfly is, and why is that correct? Now, is it because it eats a tertiary consumer, it eats a producer, or it makes its own food? Which one of these three do you believe it would be? It's a tertiary consumer, it's a producer, or it makes its own food? A mayfly. What do we know about primary consumers? They eat producers. They are the first consumer on the food chain. So, eats a producer. Let's say, I want to know, it says eats a tertiary consumer. Which one of these would this be? That eats a tertiary consumer. Which one do you believe? If you said mayfly, you would be incorrect. It would be none of these. Eats a tertiary, we know that this is the primary, this is the second, and this is a tertiary. So we don't actually have anything that eats the tertiary or the third consumer, so there is none. This answer is not even there. But uh, let's say it makes its own food. Which one of these would be makes its own food? Which one do you believe? Algae, mayfly, whirligig, whirligig, beetle, or the mud minnow? Makes its own food would be the algae. This would be algae. There's none for this. The only option left is it eats a producer. All right, this diagram shows a food chain from the river from a freshwater ecosystem in England. So we don't know too much about that, but it doesn't matter because all it wants to know is if the brown trout is a secondary consumer. They say it is, and they want to know why. Let's find out. So it says it eats a producer for the secondary consumer. It eats a secondary consumer or it eats a primary consumer. So which one of these three options do you believe? It's why the brown trout, this one right here, is a secondary consumer. It's because it eats a primary consumer. If you pay that, you'd be correct. Now, Let's go through these answers. It eats a producer. Which one of these four eats a producer? Which one do you believe? I believe it's a great cormorant, a brown trout, the midgy larva, midgay larva, or the diatom? 
pizza producer would be the midgay larva. What about eats a secondary consumer? Which one do you believe that would be? Eats a secondary consumer. If you pick the great cormorant, you'd be correct. But it wants to know about the secondary consumer and secondary consumers, brown trout, eat primary consumers. Oh. All right. I'm going to do two more and then call it. This diagram shows, I'm sorry, I don't know, I'm reading it. The Caribbean lobster is a predator. Why? Now, what is the definition of a predator? The Caribbean lobster, where is that? Right here, is a predator. Why? It says it hunts and eats a consumer, it makes its own food, or it eats a producer. Which one of these three would define a predator. So again, we don't know too much about the Caribbean lobster, the queen conch, brown seaweed, or the Caribbean uh, reef shark, but we do know what a predator is. So it would be, if I were to say it eats a producer, would I be correct? No, I would be incorrect. It would be it hunts and eats a consumer. A predator is a consumer that eats other consumers. So if we look on this chart, the Caribbean sea lobster eats queen conch, which is a predator, and the queen conch eats brown seaweed, so it's also a predator. I'm sorry, so it's also a consumer. So it's a consumer that eats another consumer. Oh, all right. The Arctic fox is a carnivore. Why is this? So we don't know too much about collared lemmings or beer sedge, sage, sedge, or short-tailed weasels, but we do know what a carnivore is. And it says the Arctic fox is a carnivore. Why? It eats a consumer, it eats a producer, or it makes its own food. Which one do you believe? Now, if I were to say it makes its own food, like carnivores make their own food, would I be correct? No, I would be incorrect. Carnivores are consumers that eat other consumers. So we know that it would be A or A, it eats a consumer. Which, which one of these, if I want to know which one eats a producer, which one of these four would it be that eats a producer? It would be the collared lemming that eats a producer. What about makes its own food? What makes its own food in this food chain? If you said beer sage, awesome, you'd be correct. But we want to know that, um, that artifact is a carnivore. Why? And because it eats a consumer. All right. The half moon is a herbivore. Why? So we have. Kelp, half moon, a sea lion, and orca. So the half moon eats, I'm sorry, is a herbivore. Why is this so? Excuse me, what's it? Okay, it says because it eats a producer, because it hunts and eats a primary consumer, because it makes its own food. Which one would the half moon be? Because it eats a producer. The half moon is the first consumer, meaning that it eats producers. So it would be eats a producer. Awesome. All right. I'm going to stop for there um, for now. I'm going to stop there for now. I don't know what I just said. But um, again, these are the terminologies that you should be aware of and you're really going to break down and be able to go through the IXL program. So definitely pause the video, copy and paste them, write them on your notes and once you do the IXL video it'll make a lot more sense. Um, that's it for now. Again, if you know if you have any questions, feel free to message me in class dojo. Try not to message in the comments. If you have a question at least reach out to me directly so I can help. And that's it for now. Thank you for your time.